Hi folks and welcome to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip with myself, Phil, and... Chris, hello. Yo. So, um, Chris, tell us what we're going to be doing here. Uh, using the noise gate uh, for side chaining, or side chaining into the noise gate to create a sort of gated effect uh, that is very popular with the kids that make the EDM today. Yeah, and you've been using this in sort of creating ultimate effects. Yeah, so in, in risers, you know, we, we can get a nice sort of choppy gated effect. Uh, this is one sort of uh, technique to do it. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's pull in a riser. Uh, let's just drop, uh, get in there. And let's throw it up there. So we've got this riser that we want. Seems to be an instrument track there. Oh yeah, see that? And we're going to create a gate, uh, but we need to trigger that gate, and we're going to use an ultra beat, uh, and just the default kit. We're going to use the hat, and program in just a sort of, we'll do it straight, and then we can do an embellishment. Your scroll wheel is the wrong way around, sir. It's not, it's the right way around. I can tell you it's the wrong way around, according to uh, Apple. Well, Apple didn't invent scroll wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they did actually, did they? I don't know. Well, there's, there's a vicious rumour that Apple and uh, Steve Jobs invented the mouse, but he didn't really. So, what we do, Phil, in the riser uh, effects chain and the audio effects, we will stick over in Dynamics a uh, noise gate. And in the noise gate, we have a sidechain. Yes. But we can't sidechain from an instrument in Logic. Why not? Because it's daft. Okay. So what you have to do, it's a bit of a convoluted process. Again, these are things that Logic needs to sort out. Uh, we can send that to bus one. And we switch off the output because we don't want to hear. And in bus one, then we switch off the output. So that's a bus is a, is like an auxiliary send, is that Yeah, right? it's aux send, exactly the same. So it yep. splits the channel. Uh, we're switching the channel output off, but it's sending the signal to another channel, so okay. to speak. And we're switching that channel off, but it can now appear here. Back. Could you route that to a bus... Just from the the actual outputs, as opposed to like a send. Sorry. See, and in your output there, can, can you route to a bus? You can, yes. Yeah, so you could you could do that. Yeah, there we go. Do it there. Now and then in our sidechain input, bus one appears, and we can see we've got activity light. Yeah. And let's copy this up so it lasts the duration. Can you have infinite buses? Uh, I think you can. De definitely up to 32 I have got set, but I think if you go and add more, you can go into the environment and add more. So there's... Yeah, that sounds quick. cool. Uh, we can change the threshold. And we can go in then, and what's, what's kind of neat is we're using F-sharp 1, so we go to the slot that's closed hat. If we switch on the monitor... It will now let us monitor what the the side chain is. So there we go, and we can adjust the like release and turn up the volume. So we can, so we now got a really tight input. Yep. Uh, we switch the monitor back off. So we could very cool uh, automate. Say if we do this, if we go into automation and we go into ultra beats and sorry, I've forgotten which slot it is. Or sorry, it should be slot seven. Seven. We go to slot seven. And we go to envelope. Is it envelope four, is it? Four it is. And decay. And we have it like that. Check that out. Other way around. Cool. There you go. 
Very cool. Yeah. So it's just it's if you're wanting to get those sort of you have a, a riser uh, and you could do that for transgiddy sort of chords, chords and stuff yeah, as absolutely. well. Yeah. And the, the the beauty about it is if you want to do like a little embellishment uh, towards the end, you can go in and change the mid, you know just copy up some MIDI notes. Yeah. And that'll give you a little did did sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, risers. If you have a high, you you know take a nana, put a pulse. We've bend it up and get it through that way, and you get that sort yeah. of EDM trancey sound. And you could get quite, um, you can really control the sort of t- decay of those. So if you're having like a, a chord, like a big airy, quarry chord, mm-hmm. you want a, 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 a sort of sound that you yeah, get in trance, it's, it's, you could do it that way. You get the nice decays going on it, yeah. Good cool. stuff. Um, there you go. There's how to use uh, sidechain gating in Logic Pro X to create some really cool effects. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.